afternoon, everyone. My name is Joe Thatcher, and I'm with Midwest Military Equipment out of Wash, Missouri. Behind me here is uh, one of the two new trucks that we just recently upfitted for uh, Howler, Howler Bike Park out of Springfield, Missouri. Uh, that's our 1085A1. This is a 1078. Uh, we've completely gone through services truck, uh, added a custom cut CNC grill. We build all these in house on all of our trucks. They bought a few units from us now, and they just kind of wanted a down and dirty dump truck. Uh, as you can see, overall we touched up some of the paint on this, but did not normally do our complete go through of all the paint and touch up every little nook and cranny on it because they are going to be working this truck and using it. Uh, we installed a eight ton electric over hydraulic hoist with the control inside the cab here. So to raise the bed up, you just hit up. We can run that all the way up and then I'll get out and I'll show you kind of how all everything works on the hoist. We do offer a wireless remote with our hoist kits. So if you're wanting to add a hoist to your truck, we can install a hoist on any two and a half ton or five ton truck. We do have a larger capacity hoist as well. If you're wanting something a little bit bigger, uh, we can definitely accommodate that. This one here just has our basic eight ton hoist. Uh, it gives us a really nice dump angle. We're able to get about a 50 degree dump angle out of this as you'll be able to see once I get it all the way maxed up. Uh, they're going to be using this on site uh, for projects moving dirt and rock and other material around. It takes a 1078, you know, which is a very versatile off-road vehicle and then makes it even more versatile having the hoist underneath of it, you know. They're able, what we did is we took the original cargo bed, we've cut the long sills, we've added in some reinforcement plate on the long sills themselves, and went ahead and installed this hoist here. We've added a hinge pack at the back. This hinge pack still allows you to reuse the factory tie down shackles if you had D-rings on there. And if you look at the dump angle of the bed, the dump angle of the bed's pretty phenomenal for a retrofit. Um, so this, this being a 1078, it's got a 12 by 7 factory cargo bed. This is a 1085, so it has a 20 foot cargo bed. Um, we could turn one of these into a dump truck. I would recommend a larger hoist. We do have some more 1085s available. Uh, we've got a few more coming in as well, along with some 1079s, which seems like everybody's looking for right now. This is actually a pretty rare truck. So this is a 1085A1 with the factory hydraulic winch. So these winches on, the factory hydraulic winches our trucks are really, really neat when they come equipped with them. So this winch is capable of pulling either front or rear. It's a 17,000 pound capacity if you see the rollers there. Um, so you've got a fair lead where you can run that winch out the back of the truck or you can run it out the front. So it gives you great versatility on that whether you're pulling yourself out or pulling somebody else out. It gives you the capability to do so. Uh, this truck is painted in a satin black paint. We've added fiberglass troop seats, truck light, LED lighting all the way around, all new reflectors. Uh, I can drop the tailgate down. We actually built a custom steel bench up at the front. And these are aluminum drop sides. So what's nice about these is they're super lightweight. As you can see, I can do it with one hand. Any of your 1078s, 1083s, 1085s are all going to be these same aluminum bedsides. We've added interior bed lighting, uh, so they're actually going to be having passengers get into the back of this truck and they're going to move them up and down the mountain at their bike park. So it turned out really, really cool. Uh, we built one of these prior, uh, I guess it was the end of last year, first part of this year in a charcoal gray, and then they loved it so much that they uh, came back and got another one. So right here you can see it's got a reverse camera. Uh, which that's all displayed up inside the cab. And then this truck actually on the back of the cab has a bed view camera so they can see if they have passengers in it. We've added a backup alarm to this truck as well. Uh, that's a switchable backup alarm so it'll only come on whenever you have the lights just as a safety precaution. Uh, this has got the Goodyear MVT tires. Uh, we've added a custom aluminum ramp with side rails on it. Pull that pin here, the ramp. You can pull the pin, fold the ramp down. I'm, uh, we're on a little bit of an incline right here, so I'm having trouble pulling that pin, but the ramp will fold down. You've got side rails on it that you can go ahead and get in and out of the vehicle itself. And then we did a custom cut logo here onto the side of the vehicle. This was originally uh, a side panel, so we've removed the side panel on the truck and then added this custom cut panel here. This is a reservoir for the factory winch. 
So that is a hydraulic reservoir for the winch itself. We've added all new door panels, all new window cranks and window openers. We've added our MME cup holders uh, at the center council there. I'll jump up on the other side so we can get some better lighting and I'll talk about our new AC system that this truck has. So this truck actually has our new AC system. So the factory red dot systems, you had to remove this box here, uh, which is the original heater core box. And with that, you would have to relocate the push-pull valves that are right here. You know, that it's, it's a time-consuming process and a lot involved. Um, with this here, this new system, it gives you good vent to your passenger and driver. You get two cup holders. This particular one has a switch panel, so the wiring accessories, like right now we've got the bed lights wired in. Uh, it gives you a USB or a SIG and then two USBs. And then these are the controls for the heat there, or excuse me, for the air there. You've got high and low, different fan settings. Uh, and all this is on set up on keyed power. Uh, if we will go ahead and turn the ignition on, you can hear this kick on. And then you've got our bed view camera. We've got our rear view camera. And then this truck also has two side view cameras. So this gives them good visibility all the way around the whole vehicle when they have this truck on road or even on road. You can leave these on all the time or you're able to shut them off. Other than that, the interior of this 1085 hasn't really been changed much. Um, we've set everything up to be on keyed power. So you flick the switch and turn off all the accessories. So that way it's a kind of don't have to worry. And if you forget anything, it'll be able to shut it off. Um, going to the outside on the front of the vehicle. We've added LED headlights, all new truck light LED lighting on the marker lights, new mirrors, new mirror brackets, and then the same custom cut grill that you see in the camouflage truck really turned out sharp. So uh, we've got quite a few 1085s, tons of 1078s. Um, if you're looking for a custom truck or you're looking for just a truck that you know that you want to start with and start out buying a truck and then, hey, I want to add gears, I want to add air conditioning. We ship all of the accessories that we sell daily. Uh, we keep tons of new products in stock, and then we're also coming out with new products on a weekly basis. So be sure to check us out online at MidwestMilitaryEquipment.com or give us a call at 636-900-9046. Thanks for watching.